Hello Coolers and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with striker Luke de Jong, as it has been reported that Barcelona have changed plans about the Dutch striker's future. We are going to be discussing much on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Villarreal left-back Alfonso Pedraza that Barca have been eyeing him for quite some time now. It has been reported that Villarreal have turned down Barcelona's approach for the 25-year-old left-back. We are going to be discussing much on that as well. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca. A poor start at Barcelona has often not bode well for aspiring players. Several stars have arrived at the Camp Nou only to crumble under the continuously piling pressure. However, Luke de Jong's case has been unique. Initially brought in at the request of former manager Ronald Koeman, the Dutch striker struggled to make a positive impression in his initial days. Owing to poor performances, he was later dropped to the bench. However, his resurgence under Xavi has been something special. De Jong has scored in three of his past four games and has seemingly turned around his situation. The former PSV player was set to depart Barca in January. Now, according to reports from La Cadena COPE in Spain, Barcelona have decided to keep the forward at the club until the end of the season. De Jong arrived at Barcelona in the summer on a one-year loan move from Sevilla. Hence, he has six months left on his contract which he will now likely complete. Earlier this week, the striker spoke about his recent boost in form and said he had even surprised the manager. He said, I don't want to leave the city now. Even if I become a substitute again, I can be valuable. I think I have surprised Xavi. Those are the words from him earlier this week. So the change in plans from Barcelona's point of view is understandable. And so far, this recent injury coupled with the acute shortage of goal scorers has left the club in search of a solution. At the moment, the unknown striker is the ideal candidate and is in good form. Then on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona are rampling up the search for a new left back after Jordi Alba's recent displays have left a lot to be desired. Xavi Hernandez has no reliable backup in that position to call upon after the club decided to sell Junior Firpo in the summer. Youngster Alejandro Bade is an option for the manager but lacks the experience and the exposure to be called upon week in, week out. As a result, you know, Xavi has requested the Barca management to bring in a left-sided fullback before the January transfer window slams shut, along with a new striker as well. And Barcelona are looking at options in the market, with Villarreal's Alfonso Pedraza emerging as a target. As per a report from Marca, Barca have made an approach to the yellow submarine to assess the possibility of a move for Pedraza. Of course, Pedraza has proven himself to be a reliable customer at left back over the past couple of years. But he has had to share game time with the likes of Alberto Moreno and Pervis Estopian this term, which led to doubt over his future at Villarreal. However, in light of um, recent injury problems, the Spaniard has been a regular in Una Emery side, racking up 22 appearances across all competitions, in which he has 6 assists, and that is why Villarreal have turned down Barca's approach for the 25-year-old left-back in the ongoing window. The report also adds that the Yellow Submarine also rejected a former offer from Serie A giants Napoli. Apart from Barcelona's inquiry, indicating that as they are unlikely to waver from their stance as things stand. It could lead to Barca looking at other options, with Ajax's Nicolas Taglafico emerging as a lone target, although roadblocks are expected in pursuit of the Argentine international as well. So guys, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so, so you always stay in touch with the latest update on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.